sculptor. Uh, I work here in the painting conservation studio at the Lang Art Gallery. Um, and this is the centre for all of the painting conservation for the whole of the Tyne and Weir Museum services. Conservation is really the, the modern um, way that we look at restoration, what used to be called restoration. The, the, the difference is that with restoration, um, the emphasis was on making things look as good as new, as restoring them. Um, whereas with conservation, the idea is to try and preserve as much as possible. We wouldn't get the exhibitions that we do if we weren't capable of proving that we can look after and take care of very high value and delicate objects, which is what conservators are trained to do. And we also would be able to spot if there was any weaknesses or damage that needs to be um, pointed out to people. One of the main things in conservation, and one of the main differences maybe between conservation and restoration, is that anything that we do um, as conservators, we have to be able to undo. So if we use paints, we need to be able to take the paints off again. If we need fillers or we put um, extra canvas on to fill holes, then we need to be able to remove it again. Because in the past, um, quite a lot of the restoration that's been done to paintings has been quite destructive. It's good to have a scientific background in, in to, to, so that you know you don't have to you don't have to memorize every single chemical combination but just understanding that what reacts with what is really useful well the materials we use is dictated totally by what materials are in the painting this is actually a um, it's like an art, architect's view of what the center of Newcastle would be like before they redeveloped it so before they did all the Grays Street and everything development. This was, this was um, Carmichael, who's a local artist. This was his view of what, what the cent city centre could look like. So it's quite a strange one. So it looks quite familiar, but then when you actually look closely, you can't pinpoint where it is. It's, it's, it's got a lot of cracks within the paint film, which is what comes with age anyway. Things haven't been stored in perfect, steady conditions. Then what happens is the expansion and contraction of the canvas over time will cause the, pa the paint, at some point the paint will just crack. Once we've got it um, fixed, what we'll probably do is we'll probably do some more consolidation on it. There's a bit more varnish needs to come off, I think. As museums, we really are taking care of paintings for the public. This is, this is the public's collection. And if we don't make sure that we have the correct conditions, that we treat them in the right way, then they will be destroyed and we will lose our heritage, which would be a shame.